Shalom, Israel. All praises to the Most High. It's Rath Zion Shayan. I got my beautiful brother right here. God, shalom, fam. Manawal. And we out here in the Bay Area. And um, this is a, a special call uh, to the nation. You know, um, we got a lot of love, uh, a lot of people that support us, um, that rock with us, that enjoy the works that we do. And uh, we actually enjoy being able to do the works and have a lot of people come to us and are edified through our YouTube channel. Um, and the various works that the brothers are putting out. Um, so us as the BOW family, we, we, we appreciate uh, those emails and those comments on the YouTube that say, hey, man, look, you guys helped me wake up to the truth. Um, you guys have been instrumental in my growth. Mm -hmm. And those things, we, we can't stress enough. Those, those, those things are, uh, are the reason why we get up and we do the works that we do. Okay. Um, this is a special call to the nation um, because... As you guys know, um, and some of you guys might not know, I myself has have been in the truth for about 12 years, right? Going on 13 years. Been in the truth going on 13 years. Um, but B.O.W. is only three years old, okay? Us as a camp, B.O.W., we're only three years old. And we've grown so fast. Like, we've, we've grown so fast. I mean, I can't do anything but just thank the Lord and just thank the Most High for the amount of growth that we've had in this short three year period. You know, we've we've outgrown two schools, literally, and 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 we've grown so fast. We've actually grown, and these are good problems. We've right. actually grown so fast that it's kind of hard for us to get to everybody, right? Like, like right now, I'm in the Bay Area right, right. now. I'm in the Bay Area, um, you know, and I'm out here with the brothers and we're building in the Bay Area. But there's so many different brothers all over that follow us from New, from New York from uh, Chicago, Texas. you know, Texas, mm -hmm. uh, Tennessee, you know, there, we have so many different people that are spread out and so many people that want to get fed and we constantly get hit ups about when are you guys coming to my city? You know what I mean? And so the workload, that's why the most high said, um, the, the, the labor is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Ooh, so uh. we're growing so fast. Um, that it's like, and these are good problems. It's like we're trying to feed everybody and, it, and it's kind of difficult. So forgive me if, if you are one of the ones that have reached out and we haven't got a chance to reach back out to you. We will, we're doing the best that we can. But one thing that can help us is we're, we're actually doing this video to ask the nation, um, for donations, right? Um, we actually, let's get, let's get, uh, let's go ahead and get Ecclesiastes real quick. Uh, 10 and 19. Ecclesiastes 10 and 19. Okay. So, <clears throat> we're going to get this precept, and then we're going to go into what this is about, family. All right? And these are good things. We got good things and good plans on the horizon. All right? Great, great things on the horizon. But we need the help from our online family, as well as our family that are physically with us. All right? So, uh, read that, 10 and 19. Okay. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 19. Read. A feast is made for laughter. Uh-huh. And wine maketh merry. Right, so we know a feast is made for laughter. Wine maketh merry. Read. Okay. But money answereth all things. But money answereth all things. So this is a special call to the nation. All right. So we know that particular scripture in, it brought out uh, a feast. But okay. that's for all things. That's why the scripture says money answers all things. Mm -hmm. We want to be able to travel. We want to be able to uh, uh, build up our school and beautify the home base. We want to be able to travel and be able to reach other areas that we try to build, right? Mm -hmm. We're asking the nation, whatever donations you can give, whatever arms you can give, you know, if you can donate. We have a GoFundMe we have created. We have a goal. Our goal is $80,000. That is our goal. Um, that goal will help us be able to travel. That goal will help us be able to keep the ups, keep of the school. And that goal will be able to uh, help us feed the sheep. In, in, a, in, a, in a better way, right? So we're asking the people, if anybody, if the Lord put it in your heart to give your alms or to give a donation, it doesn't matter how much, just it could be a dollar. It doesn't even matter. Our goal is that we're trying to build. And unfortunately, it takes money in America's system. And we want to be able to go out and touch you guys more. We want to have better videos. We want to have uh, 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 in the school, right? We don't want to continue to do the same style lessons we've been doing with the little camera we've been using. We want to get a better camera. We want to get better speakers. We want to get better mics, right? So you guys can be able to have better classes, right? 
We don't, the classes we've been doing have been getting us by, but that is not the goal. We want our classes to be fantastic, all right? For the most high. For the most high, mm -hmm. Ex exactly. And, and so we want better classes, right? We want better mics, right? So that that way you guys can follow along even that much better at home. Right. You understand? So we can make it easier for you guys, right? Without without money, we can't buy these things though. And so we're asking the nation to help us, right? To contribute to better overall classes. We want you guys to be able to have, we want 360 cameras. We want you guys to be able to see the audience sometimes and then zoom in zoom out we, we want the best high quality classes because i believe the lord deserves it and if, if you guys uh and your spirit bears witness with what we're doing you know what i mean and you you feel that the spirit is behind us some people might not feel the spirit mm -hmm. is behind us but if you personally feel the spirit is behind these brothers and i'm edified we want to make classes better for you right online classes better for you Come. that's what we want to do and on top of traveling, we want to be able to, that $80,000 will also be for us to travel. We want to buy plane tickets. We want to get the profits out there to these different areas, right? So this is what we're trying to do. This is this is the importance of it. So money answers all things, all right? And we see the same thing, and we're not doing anything outside of what the scriptures teach us to do. We're literally believers of the way. If you guys don't know, believers of the way, I didn't create that name mm. based off the top of my dome. That was the name that... Uh, the early church fathers went by the followers of believers of the way John 14 6 right Christ is the way right mm -hmm. and before they were called Christians in Antioch they were also they were they were called commonly believers or followers of the way so we're literally following the same footsteps that our forefathers follow and the early apostles follow right let's go to Acts real quick Acts chapter 2 verse 44 and let's let's prove that this is we're, what we're asking is no different than what Paul asks for, Peter asks for, the head apostles asks for, all right? The contribution to be able to travel, um, to be able to have better classes, to be, be able to get this word out in a better way. We we give we give uh, for Netflix accounts, mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, we um. go to movies, we go pay for food. Put Let's put our energy and our money into the most highest work as well, mm. right? And, and, and I guarantee you, you will see the fruits of your labor and your dedication and your charity because we are going to make sure that we show you guys, hey, look, look at what you guys have allowed us to do. Look how beautiful our classes are. Look how X, Y, and Z, whatever the case may be, traveling. I'm in a bay now. But hey, look, with that contribution, I was able to go to over here more often, mm -hmm. right? This is this is the point, right? Let's read that. Con, this is Acts chapter 2 and verse 44. Uh -huh. And all that believed were together. So if you believe... All right. If you don't believe in us, that's fine. But if you do believe, it says all of them were together. Right. One mind, one body, one spirit, one savior. It says if you do believe. Right. Read. Come. It had all things common. Uh huh. And had all things common. Read. And sold their possessions and goods. They sold their possessions and their goods. Read. And parted them to all men. And parted them to all men. Right. Charity. So for an example. Our, we give alms, right? Our church, we give monthly alms. Uh, you know, and some give what they can. Some give more. Some give less because of what they can. But we give monthly alms. That monthly alms that we give has been able to help people pay their rent. Mm. This is a fact. I'm not going to put nobody out there right now. But maybe we can get some testimonials for the brothers and sisters that we have helped. You know, if they decide to do so. But we have literally paid people's rent with these alms. We have literally helped people with their car notes with these arms. We have literally helped people get full with these arms personally, right? So arms is just not, this is just not, you know, to where it only like in a Christian church, the bootleg Christian church, you pay mm -hmm. your tithes, give it to the pastor. No, we facilitate this with people that need help within our body and our congregation. Also, the work to fund the works because we're not a 501c3. We don't get tax exemptions and all of that. We got to pay monthly rent. We all got to work. I still work. You know what right. I mean? I still work. I go to work every day. You know what I mean? And I pay my alms. And I give graciously and generously because we're all in this together. So this is what Acts says. Let's read. Watch this. Come, as every man had need. Uh-huh. And they continually, daily, with one accord mm -hmm. in the temple mm -hmm. and breaking bread from house to house. You see that? And, and, and they started in the house. We started in the house. Right. He started in my home, mm -hmm. right? It says they went and broke bed, bread continually from house to house. But we're, we grew so fast that we had to get a school, mm -hmm. you know? 
we couldn't my, my my little house I'm, i know some of you guys were familiar when we started with us when, when we was in the house we i literally was like man we grew out of that house man. we got a building now but now that we got a building rent things of that nature happens and we're fine for the most part we're good but the point is we want to be able to do more we want to be able to travel more we want to be able to have better things right better classes for you right you you guys shouldn't have to have mediocre classes online you guys deserve better uh classes and and, and things of like that from us right what's this read okay from house to house mm -hmm. did eat their meat with gladness mm -hmm. and singleness of heart mm -hmm. praising god yahweh mm -hmm. and having favor with all the people mm -hmm. and the lord added to the church daily such as should be saved you see that and the lord added to the church daily that was the church it says that they gave generously alms and they added to the church daily so that's what we're asking if you believe in the ministry that we're doing we're asking to add to help us grow okay. right to help us grow um let's get let's get this go to mark uh 12 and 41. Okay. This is Mark chapter 12 and verse 41. And Jesus sat over against the treasury and beheld how the people cast money into the treasury. You see that? It says the people cast money into the treasury. They had a treasury. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just doing this for, you know, you need money. Money answers all things. So they had to give money. They gave money for Christ's ministry. Right. Even Jesus Christ's ministry, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, even his ministry, they gave. Right? Read. And many that were rich cast in much. All right, and and you give as, uh, uh, according to what you can give. It says many they cast in much. Right, we're gonna read to verse forty four. Right, right. Watch this. Read. And there came a certain poor widow, mm -hmm. and she drew in two mites. And, she, and a poor widow, she gave a very little. Right. Watch this. Read. Which make a fair thing. Mm -hmm. And he called unto him mm -hmm. his disciples and saith unto them, mm -hmm. Verily I say unto you, mm -hmm. that this poor widow that has cast more in, than all they wish have cast into the treasury. With that being said, we're not asking for you to go broke trying to help us. We we, we don't have nothing in our school that says the faith of David. Or, I mean the faith of Moses and all right. of that stuff. And you give if you give more, the Lord's gonna bless you more. We're not saying that. We're not, we're not going into none of that that Christian rhetoric. That's not what we're saying. Right. All we're asking is you can give whatever you can give. You can give a dollar, give a dollar. If you can give $2, give $2. Mm -hmm. That's all we're asking for. And the Lord sees that. Right. We're not asking nobody to go broke trying to help us. And, and, and really, it's not even trying to help us. It's helping the ministry for the Lord and helping yourself for better classes and things. All we're saying is give a dollar, $2, $3, whatever the Lord put on your heart, give. That's it. Oh, that's it. And we see that example in the scriptures because unfortunately for the ministry, you need money. And I'm not a millionaire. Gosh, I'm not even a thousand there. Hey. <laughs> I'm you know what I mean? I, I don't I'm I'm a main man uh dwelling in tents. You know what I mean? Um, you know, some people don't even, you know, not like that. I, I work and get up every day, work my nine to five just like everybody. So I understand. I've been broke, I've been checked. So we're not asking for you to go broke helping us. We just asking if you can give a dollar. Give a dollar. If you can give two, give two. If that's what the Lord put on your heart. All right. If you can give 500, give 500. Whatever right. the Lord put on your heart. But the Lord said it's about the heart and the willingness to help with the ministry and to further the ministry. Keep reading. Okay, verse 44. For all they did cast in of their abundance. Mm -hmm. But she of her want did cast in all that she bet, uh -huh. all that she had. Uh huh. Even all her living. Uh huh. Verse chapter 13. Nah, nah, that's okay. it. So go to Acts 4 and 35. Let's get this last one. Okay. Acts 4. Yep. Acts 4, 35. Um. Okay. This is Acts chapter 4 and verse 35. Read, read verse 33. Go up. Okay. Verse 33. Uh -huh. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. Uh -huh. So the apostles were teaching the resurrection of Christ, right? Read. Okay. And great grace was upon them all. Uh-huh. Neither was there any among them that lacked. Uh -huh. For as many as were possessors of lands or houses, mm -hmm. sold them mm -hmm. and brought the prices of the things that were sold mm -hmm. 
and laid them down at the apostles' feet. You see that? They gave. Right. So houses, they did whatever they needed, and they gave the precedes to the apostles. And they trusted in the spirit of the Mashiach, and the apostles did what they needed to do for the ministry with that money. So all we're asking is if you can contribute. We love our online family. We love you guys. We appreciate you guys. We are so happy to be able to um, feed feed you guys. And we're asking if you can give, you know, whatever the Lord has put on your heart, please, you know, feel free to give. Uh, we're going to have the, the uh, we, we started a GoFundMe. So we're going to have the link to the Go, GoFundMe in the bottom of the, uh, in the okay. comments. And we're going to pin it to the to comments and we'll also put it in the the link to the in the description area of this video so please click that link and if you can give according to what you can give our goal is to raise eighty thousand dollars um that is the goal um we've we've sat down and we've count the, counted the cost and about that price we'll be able to do more than what we more than enough you know what i mean we'll be able to do great things uh better classes traveling the whole nine uh building up the school the whole nine um, and we're gonna keep track of, of a record. So when we get like a milestone, we'll we'll we'll, we'll let you guys know. Hey, we mm -hmm. got a milestone. We raised ten thousand right. um, dollars. We get another milestone. We'll hey, we raised this amount. Of, and then once we do the upgrades, we're also gonna put a compilation video together for you guys, so you guys can see with your own eyes what your donations have done for BOW. We're gonna put a compilation video together. I'm gonna have my uh, brother of mine does do a compliment video, and you'll be able to see. So, without further ado, please hit that link. We love you. Um, um, we care for you. Um, please, you know, if the Lord put it in your heart, give accordingly. Until next time, Israel. Shalom. Have a blessed, blessed Shalom. day. Shalom. Shalom, family.